I started in the guitar business through my own love of guitar and um, owning guitars, wanting to play them, realizing they didn't play the way I want or maybe there was features I wanted. My curiosity just kind of went from there. The very first guitar that had my name on it, I, I've made handfuls of guitars just for me personally. Um, I've made many more guitars for other people and their name, uh, but the one that, my very first one that I made, um, all, all my own completely designed and everything, um, I like that one the best, yeah. The brief version uh, condensed down would be um, wood selection. You've got to mill the wood and glue the pieces together into, into blanks. Uh, and or layers um, and then you need to cut the outlying shapes that you want and um, there's cavities and whatnot for the different components and those have to be cut as well um, and then after they're rough cut you you fine cut and sand them uh, the neck and the body um, at some point, you uh, install the frets into the, gu into the guitar neck, and then from there, you need to have things finished. You can either do a basic finish, like a, an oil rubbed finish, uh, something very natural, or you can have all the way up to sprayed real fancy graphics on it with either lacquer or polyurethane or whatever it is that you choose. Those are the two classics. And then after everything is finished, then you have assembly. Uh, you get all your parts together and you actually fit them the way that you intend and then uh, you set the guitar up so you have to you have to carve um, a nut and adjust the strings and the, and the neck and all the other parts that can adjust and you set them for optimal play. This is a uh, headstock design that's proprietary to the business here and um, this happens to be a compound radius. So I showed you the radius machine and a um, real common radius is like a 10 inch radius which would, or a nine and a half, which is this. Um, this one goes from 10 to 16, so it flattens out as it goes. You know, this, this is like, like a 10 inch call. And so you wanna have a, a fret that's 10 inch radius going into a slot that has a 10 inch radius. You want everything to be exact, right? And we do our best to do that um, here. And then after, after the neck gets frets in it, um, we use this light bar and this flat bar. And we actually rest it right on top of the frets and we make sure that they are all consistent all the way down. This will show you how, how long I've been doing guitars. That's completely full of just the string ends that I've collected over over the years. Just the string ends? Right? Just, yeah, so every, a guitar has uh, six. Right. Six of those little guys. So you can imagine how many guitars that is. So that's the very, very condensed version.